What? Heron! I'm gonna run upstairs, see if I can find Heron, drop this off, okay? Clint are still at the banner, but uh, Vicky says that she wants to get home as soon as she can so she can spend some time with you this afternoon. Oh, good. And the kids are upstairs with Kim. So if you feel like having a few laughs later, you know where to find them. Good. You know, honey, I'm really uh, happy to be staying here at Landfair. Makes you feel safe? Yeah. Mm. Does this make you feel even safer? Yeah, it does. I feel the safest when I'm in your arms. Listen, um, I feel good being here, and I really think you should get back to business. I mean, it's a big day for Fraternity Row. Are you trying to get rid of me? No. No, but... good, good, because you're not going to. Not quite yet. I have something for you. Something very special for a very special little lady. <laughs> Megan? I'll be right there. What are you doing? I'm lonely in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's time for you to get out of bed, young man. Uh, you have a national television program to produce. Can we just forget about that? We'll just watch the evening news, see how the no, show runs. No, no, no. I would love to, but... Mm. No, but Max, what? listen to me. I want to go see Sarah. See how she's doing this morning. I hope that she's told Bo that she's pregnant. When are the cops going to catch Austin? I mean, when is this going to happen? The hotel's using up this frantic. Whoops. Yeah, it's so far. Guests aren't too inconvenienced by all this. Well, they're probably enjoying it, Gabrielle. <sighs> Judy, Judy, how are you? I'm having a fight with the set designer. You can't believe what he wants to do. Well, since everything wait. is going so well, why don't I take wait, wait, it? I thought we settled everything at the meeting yesterday. You're telling me he wants to change things now? <laughs> okay, okay. You two uh, don't get run over by anything. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Really a very cute kid you've got there, lady. Thank you. What are you doing here in the lobby? Gabrielle, let me explain something to you. The police are not looking for me here. They think that I'm somewhere out in the boondocks or somewhere out of state. Obviously, they do not think that I'm right here under their noses. Listen, this place is going to be crawling with Buchanan's by this afternoon, so I certainly hope that you find somewhere else to hide. If I feel like it. Besides, most of them think that I'm dead and buried. Now, how are you doing putting together the $50,000 that you owe me? I have an appointment for that later on this afternoon, but I'm warning you right now, if it doesn't work out, you'll just have to forget it. Oh, fine. Then you'll just have to forget calling this little child Garrick Grand because Brenda is going to be calling him his rightful name, Stephen McGillis. Keep your voice down before someone hears you or sees you. Don't panic, little lady. When people panic, they look stupid. I'm not going anywhere until I get my $50,000. All right. All right. We'll go along with him for now, but when uh, Max arrives, I want to, I want to talk to him right away. Get there. Oh, phones. All right. Oh, Sandy. Do you know where I can put these phones? Um, uh, let me look. There we go. Oh, did you get your uh, problem taken care of? Yes, yes, it is. Listen, what did that stagehand say to you just now? What is it? It's a surprise. Oh, honey, I can't deal with it anymore. Okay, it's... okay. I'm sorry. I know if it's a surprise from you, it's going to be something I love. Well, it better be, or I shouldn't have given it to you, right? Um, sit down. Sit down and close your eyes. Okay? No. I can't sit down until you kiss me. Ah. 
Okay? Okay. Good. Sit down. This will only take a second. Close them. The test showed I'm pregnant. Well, that's wonderful. I'm sure that Bo will be thrilled. It's not Bo's. It couldn't possibly be Bo's. It's Austin's. Sarah. I'm sorry. Oh, no, God. Keep them. Keep them open. You've already peaked now. This is for you. What? You're not in a in a mood for a new ring today? Oh, honey, please. I I can't even you can't make what? a smile about this. Okay, I just please don't. Don't what? Don't what? Don't buy you any presents? Don't love you enough to buy you a present? Don't you at least want to have a look at it before you turn it down? Okay. What? You're laughing? I can't believe you laugh at my present. I love it. I really love it. I have to be honest with you, though. Um... I originally bought that for Jessica, but since you've fallen in love with it... Uh... You know, you want to know why? Why? Because this ring doesn't make me feel pressured at all. It just makes me feel loved. Good. That's fine. Then you keep that ring. Um, do you want to see the ring that I planned giving Jessica? Do you think... Uh... Do you think she'll like this? I mean, I, I think it's going to be a little big for her. I probably have to have it cut down in size, or maybe I'll put it on a chain that she could wear around her neck. And Vicky, I'm sure, is going to want to put it in the safe for her until she's 18. It's gorgeous. I think it's probably the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Really? You want to try it on? I mean, just to, just to see how it would look on your beautiful little hand. It really is something, isn't it? I think Jessica is just going to absolutely love this in about 16 years. I, could I change my mind? No. No, no, of course not. You can't do that because I don't want you to feel pressured. I just want to be able to give you a ring that'll make you smile. That would make you secure in the fact that I love you so much. And that's all. I think this diamond ring can do that as well as the plastic ring. And then when I've had a chance to deal with the future a little bit better, maybe this could become my engagement ring. You know what? That's exactly what I thought when I bought this. And I also remember speaking to this uh, gypsy fortune teller, and she told me that uh, someday soon we would be walking down the aisle together, and then we would be thinking about starting our family. I just picked the wrong thing to say, didn't I? No, it wasn't the wrong thing. It was the right thing. It was just the wrong time. Is there anything I can say to make you smile again? You were smiling a second ago. Why don't we just concentrate on you? This is a big day for you, the show and the awards. Why don't we concentrate on that and on you? Is there anything that we should talk about? Anything that we haven't discussed yet? Why do you ask? Because I spoke to Larry Wallach, and he said that he thought that we should talk. I got the impression that there was something that I should know. This better not be a joke. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Hi. How are you, Max? How's things? Oh, you spit it out, Marco. I'm dying to hear how you're going to guarantee Megan a daisy. Just so happens, I'm very much aware of the fact that the voting between you and Spring is very tight. It's like neck and neck right now. Mm. I figured out a way to get you on TV, get you on radio today. Remind the viewers to vote today. It's the bottom line, Marco. 
Yeah. Bottom line? Bottom line is sizzle. Sizzle. Mr. Sizzle. You mean the round little guy that owns a chain of steakhouses? The guy who tapes all his own commercials just to make us suffer? That Mr. Sizzles? What, do you think there's another one? Yeah, well, what does Mr. Sizzles have to do with the Daisy Award? I happened to be going down Broad Street the other day, and I saw Mr. Sizzle, and I said to myself, boy, if we could just use some of his publicity and advertising power, and it turns out that I know Mr. Sizzle, so I stopped by, and guess what? He is opening a new Mr. Sizzle over at the Eastgate Mall today, and he's a big fan of yours, and he tapes the show every day, so what do you think so about that? So what, Marco? So what? So what? What does Mr. Sizzles have to do with the Daisy Awards show? You, my dear, are going to cut the first piece of meat off of his grill. Just kind of like, you know, breaking a champagne bottle on a new christened ship, that kind of thing. No, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 you have to do that. There's going to be press there. There's going to be people there, lots of people there, people who vote. hundred votes could make all the difference. You want to beat Spring Sky, don't you? You cut that meat. Marco. I told Timmy that you would be meeting him at the Grand Hotel in about an hour. What, are you not going to be there? No, I'm not going to be there. I will see you at the awards ceremony, and not a moment before. I just don't understand this attitude. I think it's called class, Marco, something you've never heard of. Listen, are you going to be at the hotel election? <clears throat> I sure am. Are you going to be at Bose until it's time to rehearse? Actually, I'm going to go to Vicky and Clint's. That's where Sarah is right now, so I'll be at Landfair if you need me. Okay. Love you. See ya. <laughs> Are you sure you won't reach them? No! <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I'm over there with Judy. I look over here and I see you turn away from the stage and obviously very upset. Now, who is he? What did he say? I'll have him fired. Oh, hello, hello, Spring. You're, uh, you're a bit early. Oh, I couldn't stand it. I just had to get by here and look at the, the ballroom. You know, that way I can, I can envision myself going up to accept my award. <laughs> you know what imaging is, don't you? Well, see, now I can image in my mind the exact steps from my table to the podium. <laughs> I see. Listen, uh, have, have you met uh, Gabrielle Medina? Oh, Hi, Gabrielle. Hello. I, I know you haven't met my uh, my son. This oh. is Garrick. Hi, little boy. Michael, please give me a tour. Well, uh, all right. Quick one. Uh, be right back. Don't be long. Mm -hmm. Oh, Audrey. Hello. Oh, hi, Gabrielle. <laughs> Wow, I mean, you're, you're pushing the baby, and Terry's pushing me. It's, it's going to be a pretty crazy day around here, huh? Yes. Yes, it is. But with any luck, we'll have it all together for tonight. It's going to be wonderful. I'm sorry we haven't met. I'm Gabrielle oh, Dean. Oh, I'm sorry, Gabrielle. This, this is Terry. He plays he plays Robert on Fraternity Row. Hi. Hi. Oh. oh I'm really going to be in the way here today. Uh, Don't people. worry about that, okay? Audrey, you are the star. Everyone will be happy to move aside for you. Thank you, Gabrielle. It was nice seeing you. Uh, have you seen Max? No. No, I haven't. Listen, best of luck, okay? Thanks. Oh, Gabrielle, do you know which way the ballroom is? We want to check it out. Yes, it's just over there. Thanks. Okay, fine. Terry, wait. What? I want you to turn around and take me home, okay? Why? Because I, I don't think I can do this. Do what? Show up at the awards. Why wouldn't you? Why? Because I don't want to... I don't want a hundred pair of eyes staring at me with pity, and I know that's what's going to happen. Audrey, you know that's not true. No, Terry, come on. I, even if it isn't true, okay, just the thought of it gives me the creep. So just get me out of here, okay? Come on. What am I going to do about Austin? He's getting more insane every day. He's a killer. He's capable of killing any one of us. How do I get rid of him without paying his blackmail? Oh, God, how did I get into this? And how do I get out of it? Gabrielle, what is wrong with you? Nothing. What are you talking about? I tapped you on the shoulder. You jumped. Now, what are you afraid of? 
I'm not afraid of anything. I'm, I, Michael, I'm tired and I'm very anxious that everything should go well here tonight, but I have my doubts. You know, I wanted you to stay home and rest today, but you uh, refused, uh, didn't you? Well, now you have no choice. I am taking you home and I am putting Garrick in uh, Melissa's charge. But I have to stay here at the hotel today. Wrong. You have to be at home. I'm not leaving. Then I'll simply fire you to have you out of here. Oh, Michael. I'll make a deal with both of you, okay? I will go home for a couple of hours, but that's all. No, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. I mean, after all, I am capable of running a hotel and overseeing a gala event without you, Ariel, hmm? I, I did do a good deal of that before uh, I ever met you, although it might be hard to picture that at this particular moment. What do you think, Carrick? Are we taking too much advantage of an overly generous woman? Honey, do you ever get the feeling that a person is only allowed so much luck in their life and then when they use that all up, there's just nothing left? There's just so much good luck allotted to everyone when they're born? Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what I mean. I just... I just suddenly feel like all mine is run out. I know that Austin's gonna be out there haunting me forever. No, honey, no. Bo, no. Austin is still very much a part of my life, and until I do something about it, I'm just gonna be haunted by him for... I don't want to push you to see a doctor. I really believe that that's a decision that uh, you're gonna have to make on your own if you want to see a psychiatrist, if he could help. I'm afraid no one can help me with this situation. Because you believe that Austin is still alive, even though Megan and I went to the grave and we know for a fact that he is dead. No, honey, he's alive. He is still very much alive inside of me, and in fact... No, in fact, I, I understand this. This is why I think that you really should get some help. I'm not... I, it's beyond me. It's beyond help from your, from your sister, your father. You are going to have to bury Austin. You. Once and for all. That's the only way you're ever going to have any peace, Sarah. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should try and get some outside help. I'll call Susan at the Rape Crisis Center and see if she can help me out. I mean, it wouldn't be fair to you if no, I... No, no, don't think about me. I'm talking about what is fair to you. As far as me, the only thing I want is to be with you. I want to make you as happy as you make me. Just looking at you makes me happy. You don't have to do anything else. Come here. Come here. You know what you just asked me about, um, about good luck? I promise you haven't run out of good luck. And I promise that together we're going to get over your misery. Honey, I'm going to put this whole thing behind me. And then I'm just going to start over again with you. That's it. And then no one is ever going to get in our way again. No one. Come on. Let's go. Well, you're trying to get rid of me again. No, I'm not. But I would like to unpack, settle in, maybe play with the kids a little bit. Now, there's no reason for you to stay here. I'm going to be just fine. In fact, I'm sure Max is at the hotel, and you're probably needed at the studio. There's a lot of paperwork building up at the studio. That's not Max's strongest suit. So far. I could get it all. I could bring it right back here and work on it. Please. I'm going to feel guilty if you don't go to work, and I'm going to be just fine here. Do you know what happened the last time you talked me into going to the office? Yes, I remember. Austin paid me a visit, or else I had one hell of a hallucination. I feel really safe and secure here. You don't have to worry about me at all. Hello, Flo. Hi. 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 Heron, let me in. Hope you don't mind. No, you mind? Are you kidding? We're about to start a big fight here, and your interruption helped. How long can you stay? A couple of hours. Well, good. Then, by the time you have to go, go do some work, all right? And then we can go and get ready for the awards. We? Are you coming to the awards? Really? Are you going to go? What is wrong with you two? You think that I'm going to miss the love of my life and my sister being honored tonight? Uh, she just wants the cameras to mm. catch her so she can be on national television. Yeah, I think you're right, Megan, but she is also one strong lady and one incredible lady. 
Are you going to be okay? Huh? Yes, of course I am. Now go on. I want to listen to Megan's acceptance speech. Maybe give her a few pointers. Wait a minute. You mean tell me how wonderful it is? Yeah, that too. Uh, what's that on your hand there? Hanging out there? Kind of shiny, huh? Yeah, pretty nice, huh? Bo was going to give it to Jessica, but uh, talked him into giving it to me. Well, congratulations. Well, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm going to be right back. I love you. I love you. And I will meet you at the podium when I see you get your daisy award. That you will. Now, are you really feeling better, or was that bright and cheery mood for Bo's sake? No, I, I feel better. I do. Part of it was for him. I mean, it's a big day for him and for you. Sarah, you know, you don't have to pretend with me. No, I'm really feeling better, Megan. I've uh, made a decision about the pregnancy. I'm going to terminate it as soon as possible. Sarah Gordon's room, please. Uh-huh. Well, she checked out. Well, no, Dola, that's good. But uh, this is the uh, Landview Grand Florist, and I have a bouquet of flowers to deliver to Miss Gordon. Uh-huh. Yes, I have that address. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, you didn't think I'd be able to find you at the land fair, huh, Sarah? Wrong. Well, last night you had no idea what you were going to do. Last night I was a complete basket case. Austin appeared and threatened me. And then I find out I'm pregnant by him. I didn't know what to think. Oh, Sarah, I'm just sorry that you have to go through all this pain. It's going to pass. Bo convinced me that it is definitely going to pass. But you didn't tell him you were pregnant, did you? No. I started to tell him. I mean, I, I was really leading into it, and he just kept misinterpreting everything I was saying. So I thought, why tell him? I mean, you know, what's the, what's the point? Why put him through that? You know, when Austin attacked Megan, it was, it was out of hatred for my loving Beau, for not loving him. Baby should be conceived out of love, not out of hatred. You know, sit down. Beau started talking to me about the family that we were going to have, and that's when I knew what I had to do. You don't agree with me? No, Sarah, this is just your decision. You're the one that was raped. You're the one that has to live with all these memories hour after hour. I, I, I can only imagine how you'd feel. Well, it's, it's worse knowing that Austin's out there somewhere. You know, I've been thinking I might uh, go see a psychiatrist. Partially because you and Bo keep thinking I'm wrong about Austin, but also I, I could use a little help dealing with the rape, I think. So, um, well, I'm going to call Susan at the Rape Crisis Center and see if she can recommend someone to do the procedure immediately. Sarah, you know, you don't have to rush into this. You still have some time to think about it. Then you don't agree with my decision. No, it's not that at all. If I were in your position, I would make the exact same decision, but... I'm in a position to be a little more objective right now, and I just want to make sure that you've thought enough about this and that you're absolutely sure that this is the right decision. I'm sure. Come in. Hi, Terry. Audrey. Um, Terry, could I speak with Bo alone, please? Sure, sure. Thanks. I've got a feeling that, uh, I'm not gonna like hearing this. Well, just listen to what I have to say before you say anything, okay? <clears throat> I had been planning to go to the awards ceremony, but I've changed my mind. Why? So I want you to accept the award on the off chance that I do win it. Why aren't you and going? And I, I, have, I have read 
the storyline that, that you gave me, and it's, it's wonderful, but it's not for me. How come? For obvious reasons, Bo. Like, for instance, this wheelchair that you're staring at. I really think that it would be best for everybody concerned if you just, if you just recast my part. I mean, who knows when or, or if I'm ever going to get out of this wheelchair. So I guess this is, um, this is goodbye. Excuse me. Guess you just came back to uh, pick up your personal stuff and, uh, who knows, maybe you'll drop us a postcard every now and then. I guess so. Tell me something, Audrey. When did you, uh, make these two decisions? I, I just, let's just say I realized that even if I did win, I would be too, pardon the expression, paralyzed with fear to go up and accept the award. So what's the point? See, that is a lot of bull. Because you are in front of a camera all the time. You make your living at that. Yeah, but that was before. Before what? What do you mean, before what? Before the accident. Yeah, but this accident is not going to leave you paralyzed for life. The doctors say that you can walk again. Maybe. Well, what if that happens, say, in about 10 minutes from now, but you've already made the decision to resign from the show, to make other arrangements about not going Come to on, the Bo, award ceremony? Come on, Bo, it is not going to happen in 10 minutes. Why not? Unless maybe you decided it. Maybe you don't want to walk Why again. Why in the hell wouldn't I want to walk again? I don't know. Maybe you've decided to cast yourself as the bitter woman for the oh, rest of your life. Oh, just a damn minute. That is not fair. Maybe you're just afraid of success. When you decided to leave the streets and uh, pursue a career in acting, all your friends predicted that you'd be back. So is that it? Audrey, you want to go back to the streets now, only in worse shape than you were before you left? Why was it that you were trying to make this sound like it's something that I want? Because that's exactly what it sounds like. It's obvious. Otherwise, you wouldn't be quitting, Audrey. Oh, that's, that's, that's really easy for you to say to me, isn't it? You know why? Because you are Mr. Bo Buchanan. Why can't you, you were born with gold spoons in your mouth. Every time trouble comes your way, it just miraculously disappears, doesn't it? You even beat a murder rap. Well, you know what? That is your life. It is not mine. Yes, I did manage to pull myself up out of the hole that I was born in, and I got my uh, 15 minutes of fame, right? But that's over. I know it, and I accept it, and I don't need any more lessons. Sorry. You're a quitter. And that's all there is to it. And no, I won't accept your award for you, Audrey, because I don't want to. Why don't you get a hold of uh, your old boyfriend? What was his name? Blade? He's probably going to end up being your guy again anyway. Why don't you just send old Blade up there to that podium? Garrick is sound asleep. I think that little outing exhausted him. Michael, I have to go back to the hotel. I won't allow it. Would you please listen to me? I promise I will get all the rest you want after this day is over, but there's far too much to do and far too much to worry about. Your health is more important than the Daisy Awards. You are too much on edge. You're too tense. And over what? An award show is being broadcast from our hotel. Big deal. Yeah, it will be a big deal if it all falls through and you won't be so cavalier about it. Look, I won't be long, I promise. You're not leaving this house! Damn it, I've lost too much recently. Now, you know that I, I I wouldn't be able to stand it if something happened to you. Nothing is going to happen it's to me. It's already happened. You are a complete and total nervous wreck. And you have been since, the award, since before the awards even came along. Now, look, if something is going on that would explain your behavior, then you have to tell me. Otherwise, I can only assume that you are overworked and underappreciated. I'm that... not overworked. And I feel very appreciated. Then something else is wrong. Michael, please. <laughs> All right. What is it? I, uh... 
I have no idea what's going to happen in my life, but I can tell you one thing. Blade is not going to be a part of it. Whatever. Honestly, Audrey, I really don't care. You know, I... I never expected this conversation to end like this. Don't you know something? It's, it is not as if I haven't tried, because I have. I try, I try every day. And some days I fall down, and some days I catch myself before I do. But I never really seem to get very far. And um, to be honest with you, I'm just tired of pushing myself. I don't think I'm strong enough to do that anymore. Audrey, some people don't really realize just how strong they are until they have to. I know a woman right now who is going through so much psychological pain that it is literally tearing her apart. But she's still fighting. She's still trying. She's not jumping in a bed somewhere trying to pull the covers up over her head and hide. Well, good for her. But the thing is, you are, you are just as tough as she is. Except she's decided she doesn't want to take the easy way out. And you think that's what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And I have to. You know why? You made a decision to quit twice today. Not once. Twice. Well, you tell your good friend that I wish her good luck with her problems. I don't like yelling at you like this. I don't like getting mad. I do like you. So does everybody else here. And all we want is what's the best for you, Audrey. But sometimes I wonder if that's really what you want. Be right. OK, you are right. You're right about. You're at least right about making two decisions in one day. That's that's too much. So so I'll backtrack on one of them. I'll go to the stupid awards show. If you happen to win, will you go up and collect your uh, stupid award? Yes, I will. Great. I can deal with that. Now, yes. as for the storyline business, I, I... No, 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 no. I don't want to deal with that yet. Good, because I don't want to deal with that yet either. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. at least 17 more problems. Backstart! Here they come. Spring! I was just looking at the, uh, the space mm -hmm. in there, and, and I, I have to admit that the space for the opening number, it's not as big as I thought it was. You know, that is amazing, because that stage is exactly the same dimensions as the rehearsal area. Oh. Yeah. Well, it, it, then it, it just looks different. Mm -hmm. So I'm anxious about my rehearsal with Megan. What time is she going to be here? Whatever time rehearsal is. Look, I don't have this memorized. I'm busy, okay? Okay, okay, don't start snapping. I'm anxious Megan's not gonna even show up when she realizes that she's gonna lose the Daisy Award to me. I wouldn't worry about it, okay? Timmy! Excuse me, ma'am. How are you? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How long has it been? Huh? Has it been uh, six, eight months since we were together in Atlantic City? Losing at every casino in town. My wife won't let me go anymore. That's why you never see me, Marco. But if you're doing business in town now, you can visit me, huh? Well, I would love to do that. You know yeah. that. But where is Roxanne? I mean, Megan. Well, unfortunately, she's not going to be able to meet us. Uh, I... Please! Do not break my heart and tell me she won't be at the opening. Because not only would you break my heart, 
but then the press will think I was lying about her cutting the first sirloin. I promised you Megan, and you're going to get Megan. It's just going to take me a little bit of time because she's got the Daisy Awards today and she's busy mm -hmm. doing I things. voted for her. Although I have to admit, I find that spring sky very attractive, too. But if Megan doesn't show up at my opening, I'll feel sorry I voted for her. Well, 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 she'll be there, believe me. I'll have her give you an autograph. I'll have her kiss you on the cheek. Oh, I sure hope so. She's one real lady. I might even name a sizzle early bird special after her. God, I can't imagine that she wouldn't enjoy that. Why don't we uh, go over here, have a little cup of coffee, uh -huh. and discuss some more uh, arcade? Now, there are hotel rooms available, but we have to pay for them. No, wait, I anticipated this problem. There is a space down in the basement we can use for dressing rooms. It's in uh, Festive with Rats, but if they've taken care of that, I think that wine cellar is going to be perfect. I, I, I don't know. It, it may be what, what you say. It's not that I'm overworked, but I am under a lot of pressure. So where is this pressure coming from? I, I can't really put my finger on it. It's, uh... <sighs> it's just that... Michael, do we have a future? Do you have any idea? That's what's been bothering you all this time? You worried about the... <sighs> Hello. Uh, yeah, Max, Max, how's, how's everything going over there? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, go ahead. No, 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 I, I, I'm positive. Just be sure and take a thorough look around before you, you know, finish it up. Right, bye. What was that all about? Max needs more dressing room space, and uh, he thinks the wine cellar is perfect as long as the rat problem is cleared up. Ariel? Um, you gave Max permission to use the wine cellar? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I don't have time to explain right now. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. Ariel! Look, there is still a very big rat problem. What? Dr. Frangion. Uh, could you spell that for me? Uh-huh. What's the number? All right. Thank you, Susan. You've been a really big help. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. So, Susan suggested a doctor for you? Yep. I can see him this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Oh, God, I can't believe I have to do this. I know. Why is this happening to me? Why? All right, look. The point is, this is happening to me, and I just have to deal with it and, and stop feeling sorry for myself. Sarah, you're not feeling sorry for yourself. You have to deal with a very agonizing experience right now. If I were you, I would be bouncing off the walls. I just want you to know that I'm with you 100%. You know, it's just Bo and I can't have any kind of a future together until I'm free of this, free of all this hurt that Austin's caused me. I, I can't live with it. Bo shouldn't have to either. I mean, the tragic thing is that you have to feel any pain at all. I can't even believe that this disgusting man did this to you. I know. But look, I've made a decision, and I, I just have to do it. I heard you talking to Susan about telling Bo. Does she have any suggestions? She said it's up to me. She did say that since he's been so understanding, it might help me to share it with him. Would well, you... Maybe I could call Mom. You, the two of you are so close. No, 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 no would be nice. please. I, I really don't want Mom or Dad to know. I mean, Dad is having a hard enough time just dealing with the rape and... God, Megan, I was so mean to him the other day. I have got to get control of myself. No, you will. You will, Sarah. No, I me. won't. Not until Austin is caught. Austin is dead, Sarah. Austin is alive. Look, I just have to get myself together and call the doctor and make an appointment. Oh, Lordy, woman! Oh. My God, I almost 
brought this lead pipe right down on your head. You better announce yourself next time. Well, why don't you just tell the whole world you're here? This place is crawling with people. Austin, you gotta get out. They need to use this as a dressing room. <laughs> Where am I gonna go? I don't know, and I don't care, but you have to leave the hotel, all right? No way. Not until I get my 50 grand. Well, what are you gonna do with 50 grand while you're sitting in jail? Austin, please. You are in danger of being recognized, of being arrested. You have got to leave. Look, I was just about to make me a very important phone call. Where did you get that phone? So, I want you to go out there and you make sure that they find another dressing room somewhere else, okay? I can't do that. Michael promised Max that they could use this as a dressing room. Please, would you try to be reasonable, Austin, and just come with me? We've, we've got to go. Come on. Gabrielle? <laughs> Now, I'm not worried, all right? You're the one who's getting hysterical, so you go take care of it, okay? Now, get out. I guess I'll call that doctor now. I mean, the see, sooner I do, the better for everyone, right? Will you make the appointment so that I can go with you? Yeah. Uh, hello? Hello, is someone on this line? I'm here, Sarah. So, have you been missing me as much as I've been missing you?